Hi, I'm Sandy Gola. Namaste. I'm teaching here for Studio 108. And uh, I would like to talk to you today about the idea of transitions. So when we do flow yoga, which is basically following your breath, so we inhale and exhale. So we're attempting to bracket the movement with breath. Inhaling, making your movement. Exhaling, making your movement. And I like to stress when we're in transitions of poses, that you try to come into a pose and out of the pose the same way. So let's take a look, for example, at our second warrior pose. So in second warrior here. And now I'm going to convert this into an exalted warrior, peaceful warrior. So inhaling and exhaling into triangle pose. So stretching, lengthening, taking triangle and breathing in this. And you have what's called like a mini vinyasa now. So even as we're in a static pose, we feel as if we are breathing and there are some micro movements happening. So as we inhale, we might open just a little bit more. We might take the arm up a little bit more uh, exaggeratedly. There's a lot of different things. We can work on our foot position, our hip position. In this pose, one of my favorite transitions, if I have neck issues, is to take an exhale and look down at my foot, and inhale and turn and look up. So that's working to give me a little bit of range of motion work here, exhaling and inhaling and exhale. Okay. And then exhale, bend the knee, come back up to second warrior. And again, if we want to come the same way that we started, we can inhale through Peaceful Warrior and exhale back to Second Warrior. And we're going to switch to the other side. So just pivoting. So pivoting is a very nice transition. So we can go from one side, we can go through star position, pivot, or we can simply do a straight leg. So pivoting through straight leg. So depending on how you like to take this, you can choose which way is best for you. But always try to come in the same way on both sides. So we'll inhale through Peaceful Warrior and exhale into Triangle. And once again, looking for those micro movements. Perhaps I'm pressing a little bit against my shin to open up more. Open hard, inhaling, and looking down, exhale. Inhale, coming up, exhale, looking down. Inhale, bracketing the movements with the breath, exhale. Inhale, exhaling. Again, bending the knee, sweeping back to second warrior. Inhaling, peaceful warrior. Exhale. Good. Now we'll come back to star. In this one, we're going to take the toes out slightly. And I like to use this as goddess squat. So we can do a lots of things in this position. In fact, I'm using it more and more because with Zoom, I can see what everybody is doing as I'm facing forward. And it just seems a little more natural for me. So again, I'm exhaling to bend and inhaling and look straight. Exhaling to bend, arms can be out, I can really take them out. And exhale, ground, good. Here I can start to transition, so again, changing it up, inhale, exhale. Nice big circular arms here keeping everything, we're kind of honoring the goddess, round, open. Good, now we'll take our hands to the thighs. We're keeping the knees and the uh, toes pointing in the same direction. Here I like to take the shoulder down to the center, pressing it down on the exhale, and on the inhale, rising back up, trying to keep those knees 
uh, keep the squat in the same position. Good, and without rising up and down on this one, just the shoulder movement. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. One more, exhale, inhale. Good. Here we are again in the star, back to this. Now I will say we're going to take our heels slightly out so that now we can turn this into a forward fold. So you want to have parallel feet hinging at the hips. Let's take our hands down just under shoulders. Exhale, release the head and neck. Now in this position, we can do side to side movement. So knee bending and straightening. On this, I would like to see, take your toes to the side as you bend into it and then straighten, bring the toes back. So you're gonna be moving the toes each time. Take the toes and come back to center. That's just to keep the knees and toes tracking. So with this type of thing, you need to watch these things for yourself because the instructor is not going to be able to see this on Zoom for you. So you wanna always keep your alignment, knees and toes, now we're going to turn slightly more to the diagonal and fold, exhale. So we're turning this from a facing forward Y angle type position to a more traditional along your mat position, exhale. And walking all the way across and over, exhale. You can see here, we're almost now in an extended angle, and I can turn that into extended angle. Those are type of transitions that we might do in my class, which is, by the way, Tuesday evening and Thursday mornings. So you can always look for that in, your, in the class description and looking on the website and on the video. Roll up, shoulders back. Thank you so much. Namaste.